This is your new programmable speedometer. Very easy to set up, very reliable. We've been using these for years. Uh, when you get out of the box, first thing you want to do is go through your instructions, read all your instructions. Um, but the first thing you want to do before you hook it up is you want to take a look at your dip switches on the back here. You'll see there are three switches. For most applications, you'll have them set to on, on, off, which will be for a Hall effect signal, which is your three wire sender or two wire sender, or even for a PCM hookup, GPS uses this style hookup as well. So check that first, check your booklet, get that set up first. First thing you'll notice when you start your speedometer, I'll take you through a few things. There's a trip meter and a regular odometer. So right now in the trip mode, the LCD says trip on it. Just tap this button here on the front, it'll light up briefly. And it'll display it'll display trip or mileage as you tap the button you'll notice that the screen may light up that's telling you that you're using it that's an hour meter you can use that as well we'll go back to trip main odometer main odometer always shows all zeros okay so first thing we'll do is let's go through setting up uh, drive a, a measured mile and then we'll go through setting up for uh, man pulses manually and then we'll go through some of the other features. So first thing you want to do is you want to turn on the vehicle, hold the button in as it's approaching zero. That's your clear trip odometer. Trip odometer, high speed indicator, the configuration menu, clear trip odometer, high speed indicator, configuration menu. That's what we're going to go into to set this speedometer up. That's your service hours, you can clear them. That's your set your service hours to set your mileage. That's the uh, set pulses per mile, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna set our pulses per mile. To manually set your pulses per mile, each digit will flash. Um, right now what we're gonna do is we're gonna set this up for 16,000 pulses per mile. That would be typical for uh, your GPS speed sender. So I'm just gonna tap the button to advance the numbers. I'm just showing you how these go. Set the first digit to 1 for 10,000. We're going to wait for it to roll to the next one. 6, 8, 9, 10. Sixteen. Now you can set these numbers to anything. It can be uh, anywhere between 2,000 and 65,000 pulses per mile. That's how many pulses the speedometer is going to receive during the mile. Uh, our GPS speed senders use 16,000 miles uh, pulses per mile, so we're, that's what we're setting this up for. So it can be 16,000. It can be an odd digit, even digit, doesn't matter. Uh, but once we're happy with the numbers, we're going to wait till it's on the last number. After the last number flashes. The entire thing's going to flash. Holding the button, it'll say done. We're going to restart our speedometer. And now it's set for 16,000 pulses per mile. Now you'll notice when you start up your speedometer, you'll see that red light. That's your high speed indicator. That's something you can manually set as well. So now I'm going to throw 16,000 pulses at it, go right to 60 miles an hour. So if you have your GPS speedometer set, if you have one of our GPS speed senders, set this to 16,000 pulses per mile. Make sure your dip switches are set for Hall Aspect. You should be all set. Now the next thing we're going to overview is uh, doing your drive a mile configuration. This is what you'll need to do most of the time if you don't know your pulse input. Um, you know, from your GPS sender. If you have a PCM, generally General Motors are 4,000 pulses per mile. You can take a look in the book. It'll tell you more about what pulse settings you may use. The one thing, uh, even if you do know the pulse settings coming out of your computer, your tire size, your gear ratio, that'll all determine, uh, you know, what the final pulses will be. So it's always best to dry, do your measured mile. Uh, so here's the here's what we're going to do. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to get into the configuration menu. Configuration 
configuration, clear service, set service, set PPU, DT SPPU, that's distance set PPU. So we're going to hold in the button on that menu item. Okay, now we're going to start driving. Now as you start driving, you may see some action on the speedometer, you may not. What's important is you want to look in this window here. This little uh, LCD digit here up in the upper left, that's going to indicate that it's working. These pulses are going to be counting up there in that window. What that's telling us is we're receiving a signal. If those pulses are not counting up, that means the speedometer is not receiving a signal. So a couple things to check is, first thing is, uh, check to see what kind of sender you have. Uh, then adjust your dip switches. You may have to play around with them a little bit depending on the sender. Check that first. Uh, if that checks out, then go ahead and go through the troubleshooting uh, listed in the manual to see how to uh, check for a speed signal. But if these numbers are not pull counting up, um, that means it's not receiving a signal. Another good thing to check as well is check your continuity uh, on your wires all the way up to the plug coming into the speedometer. You know, in case there's a bad crimp, there shouldn't be, but it's one thing to check. So you can see as we're driving along, at the end of our mile, we're just going to pull over to the side of the road, stop, holding the button, done, that's it. We're going to restart the vehicle. There we go, calibrated. So pretty easy to use, um, easy to set up, easy to calibrate, and that's all there is to it. There are more features involved, we'll get to that in another video, but... We just wanted to go over the, the basics for now.